Hello, I'm Carl Rowland with Shoreline Products. We're going to do a three-part video on drilling and turning pen blanks. So a few things I want to go over to begin with. We, uh, we do not make the mandrel saver, live center. We don't make the mandrel. These are all components that you can buy online for cheaper than we can make it for. So we're, we're not going to try and compete with something that, uh, that you know, is already out there and available. Okay, so the other one is um, what we tried to do was actually use our own chucks uh, for drilling out the pen blanks. So this is one of our four jaw self-centering chucks with master and tall top jaws. This piece of material right here is wood that I actually cut on a, on a uh, table saw, so it's nice and square. And if your material was like this, then using this chuck would work perfectly. It would definitely clamp up on this without any problem. However, most of what you buy are gonna be blanks like this, whether it's acrylic or this would be the worst case scenario, this is Buckeye Burl. This is not square, not straight, not true, not anything. So what happens is when you chuck up one of these is with our chuck, which is designed for metal, when you chuck it up, what you'll find is that two jaws are gonna clamp it nice and hard and the other two jaws aren't even gonna touch, which means your part wobbles in the chuck, which is no good. So for most of what you would buy, this isn't gonna work for you at all. So we actually bought, this is a, a Vic Mark Australian chuck, uh, and it's actually a, a pen blank chuck. It's got the 90 degree uh, V cuts in the jaws, and it's a two jaw chuck. This is actually a very well made chuck, and it has a 3 quarter 16 thread on it. However, they counterbore the thread. There's a counterbore before the thread, and the counterbore is deeper than our thread length right here. So we actually had to machine off the back of this so that it's just thread without a counterbore. Once we did that, this guy works. And in our first video, we will actually use this chuck to, to drill out a full length blank. And you can see the, the design on this is set up to hold uh, pen blanks period and it holds it by the corner so even if the, the material is not square it's going to hold it nice and true and it'll run true enough for you to, to drill and machine it. So that's that one. We actually did kick around um, making our own two jaw pen blank chuck so this is our prototype and it's a two jaw it's a uh, 3.1 diameter chuck. This also works really well, but because these are uh, relatively inexpensive and ours would probably cost more because it's made in the States, we haven't decided whether we're going to use this or not. So you'll see it used in the second video. And as I st state in the second video, if this looks like something you're interested in purchasing let us know and you might change our mind as to whether we actually make it available or not. Uh, in the first video, we're gonna be drilling a full length part. In the second video, we're gonna be drilling uh, a part that's already been cut to length. And the part that's cut to length is actually, I think, a better way to go for drilling your stock. You already know what the overall length is gonna be for your barrel. You just make this a little bit longer than that, chuck it up and it drills a lot faster. There's less run out and everything else. So that's a, another one that we, that'll be in video number two. Then in video number three, we will have, this is a Morris number one taper mandrel, uh, pen blank mandrel. And this is a number a Morris number one mandrel saver that we will be putting in our Morris number one tail stock. So we'll go through the whole process from blank to, to finish part. So um, right now uh, we're ready to get started on drilling our, our full length blank. The next one as far as drilling the, the material We've got a, an extended drill. They actually make drills that are designed for cutting acrylic. 
one of the problems with with drilling deep holes and basically we're going to drill all the way through this if uh, if we had chucked this up and we drilled a little bit past center this way and turned it around chucked it up again and drilled you would most likely have a offset hole in the middle because you're not checking up on a perfectly square part. So the best way to do this is, and that's especially true with this, if you chuck this up, the end of this guy is running out like this. You would never get your, your, your holes to line up even close. So the best way is to go all the way through. And if this end is running out a little bit and you're a little bit off center at this end and perfect here, at least your hole all the way through is gonna fit on your mandrel correctly and you'll be able to, you're gonna clean up the outside of this anyhow. So it, it won't be off center enough to matter when you clean up the OD on it, okay? Um, we've got our machine, this is our ball screw machine and we're using Masso. Uh, our, our lead screw machine works fine also. Uh, it doesn't have to be a ball screw machine to do, uh, to do pen blanks, but this is what we've got, so this is what we're showing. Um, I would say if you have our lathe, um, it's got to be the 24 inch if you want to do this operation of drilling just because you need enough clearance to get your drill in here and drill all the way through. On our smaller lathe, you don't have that kind of clearance. So anyhow, this is what we've got working. I did a program on the Masso. We are doing a center drill first and then we're going to drill. You want a center drill first if all you use is your drill and this isn't perfectly square or it's running out, your drill is going to start walking off center. And on a piece this long, you could have the drill actually walk clean out of the part by the time it gets to the bottom. So the center drill is critical prior to the drill. Um, most people that make pads, they do this operation on a drill press. Um, we've, we've had some requests for an automated system uh, of doing this so that they don't have to spend their time on a drill press doing you know, 40, 50 blanks. So this is how we would do it on a share money way. I actually set up this whole program to use the Vic Mark, so we'll, we'll thread the Vic Mark chuck on. And the Vic Mark comes with their Tommy bar, and this is our Tommy bar. So you want to make sure this guy's on good and tight. If you're machining this and all of a sudden it starts to make noise and the noise is getting louder, that means that your chuck is starting to thread itself off of the spindle. And you want to stop machining instantly so that uh, it doesn't throw your chuck in your part. Um, with, this, with this mounted correctly, it does run nice and true. So I'll put an RPM of 300 in here. And you can see how true that runs. That's very nice. Okay, so I'm going to stop that. So this is my piece of acrylic that I'm going to drill. And get it in here. Got it bottomed out. this on right now you can see it. that's pretty true you know so with, with stock that's not perfectly square you're not going to get it to run much better than that and that's plenty fine for for uh, pen blanks okay, and just to show you the opposite of this this is our our, our burl and this is this guy doesn't even come close to really true just so you can see. Okay. So I'm chucking up on the, the truer side of the stock. Turn this guy on. You can see the whole end of it running out. So obviously when I drill this, this end here, the hole's going to be off center a little bit. By the time it gets to the bottom, it'll be coming out of the other end pretty much dead on the center. So, but again, you're turning most of the stock down when you make your part. So that's not going to be a factor. So I'll put this guy back in here. My blue acrylic. All 
All right, the next one, I have about two inches worth of flute length. Whenever you're drilling deep holes, what you don't want to do is drill to the point where you're filling the entire flute with chips and then beyond before you pull it out, especially in the acrylic. If I, if I go too deep, it's going to fill this up with acrylic chips all the way, and then they're going to start welding or melting themselves inside the hole because I've got too much chip. So our first peck is 800 or 850 deep. Um, second peck is, is about 400. And then every peck after that is a quarter inch. And a quarter inch depth on the hole is enough to fill these flutes about two thirds of the way. So when the drill comes out, the chips can fall off and it continues drilling. So on this guy, ready to fly here. So I'm just going to hit rewind on my program. Second start. So this guy right here for the center drill is at 2,000 RPM, which is faster than you want to go for drilling the actual hole. But I'm just putting a, a center drill hole in there. Alright, that's going to come down from there. I hit feed hold when the center drill came out because I want to point out a couple of things. Um, number one is my spacing between my drills. This spacing has to be enough so that I can drill my part here without this guy harpooning my chuck or my motor back here or my head stop. And the next one is when, when I call up this tool in the program, I'm calling it up and then I'm moving in the x-axis first to get it out of center and then into the z. Okay. If I go X first and then Z, when I call this tool up, it's going from here, and this guy's coming straight through, crashing through my part. So for the next tool, because it's so much longer, the next move in your program has got to be, a, first you call it this tool, which in this program is tool 10, and you go Z point one or whatever your clearance is. So it's going to move all the way back for a clearance, so this guy's out in front of my part. So I'm just going to hit the cycle start again, and see that this move happens. So you have to be aware of your tool lengths and possible interference when you set up your program. Okay, this guy's getting pretty close, but it does clear. And now it's gonna start drilling. And I am at 800 RPM right now. Okay, depending on your material, you could probably go faster than this, but the slower RPMs have less chance of melting your acrylic. So right now you can see the chips coming out. So until I get up to a point where I'm into the shaft of my drill, it's, it's not an issue. But once I start getting into this area, I don't want to fill my glutes up with chips. Okay. I have my finger on the escape button and my mouse on the feed hold button if I should get a, any kind of melting going on or uh, anything bad happening I just hit the feed hold and the machine stops. You can also hit it like so if I want to clean chips off of this if they're starting to build up or if I want to put some oil or something on there to, to lubricate it. I'm cutting this dry. And then just start again. dropping down when it gets to the bottom of the hole. Uh, I'm just going to put a little bit of oil on the drill. On the shaft. And it cycle started again. Just how much buildup 
what there is of the chips. I haven't filled the entire fluid lane, but it's filling a decent area. So if I try to go any deeper than that, I'm definitely going to have problems. a little bit because that's the section that was running out the worst and that's on our back side and that's pretty close to dead center there okay so if you're going to chuck up something where like on this guy here this is the worst this section here is bent the most you want to chuck up using the square section of your stock and that way this little section is going to be off center if you chuck it up the other way then because this is off or bent slightly then the whole what truer end of your stock is going to be running out like that because you chucked up on the bad end of your stock. So chuck up on the truer end, just know that this end, when you start the drill, is going to be off center a little bit. By the time it gets to your part, you're looking fine when it comes to the other side. So, and I'm pretty sure that uh, choices of materials, pearl is probably your, your worst choice as far as uh, machining goes with drilling and getting it to come out on the center. So there you have it. Thank you. 